Before a legend. Before a superstar. Before a story. Before a championship victory. A record-breaking run. A jaw-dropping turn. There's possibility. Possibility. An opportunity to step outside of yourself and to step into something greater. Whether it's proving to the doubters that you have what it takes. I'm here. I'm doing the work. Or proving to yourself that you know who you are and where you belong. We weren't asking for your permission. But to finish the story, you have to begin. And make it your own from who you are. To the choices you make along the way. And replace possibility with legend. Because this... This is your story. Welcome to The Bump and what is shaping up to be the most chaotic SummerSlam week in WWE history. I'm Byron Saxton. And I'm Kayla Braxton. Less than a week before defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes in a brand versus brand main event at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns shocked the world and surrendered his title. The head of the table said that he's been beating up Cody for years now and he has nothing more to prove. Now he's taking a sabbatical in Hollywood to show his cousin, The Rock, that he will be a bigger superstar there too. With SummerSlam in disarray and the draft set to begin the night after, Triple H called for a one-night WWE Universal title tournament with selections from the GMs of both Raw and SmackDown. Raw GM William Regal named Cody as Raw's first entrant and said he was confident the title would be coming to Raw. But SmackDown's brand new general manager, The Miz, didn't find this awesome. He called the attempt to take his WWE Universal Championship to Raw nothing short of theft. And The Miz is in it to win it for his brand. He's sending a team of killers to bring that title home. Let's take a look. Kayla, we know what Braun Strowman brings to a fight. AJ Styles is always a threat. If you ask me, though, KO is the man to beat in this whole tournament. He's been hungry for the opportunity. Reigns has left him here. That sounds like he was waiting for crumbs from Roman's table, Byron. William Regal's entries are no slouches. Finn Balor was the first Universal Champion. Much of the WWE Universe believes this is Gunter's time. And Cody Rhodes has been looking to finish the story for a while now. That last slot, though, Kayla, what is Regal's strategy there? William Regal still has one foot in developing young superstars. Raw's GM is going to make a match on the SummerSlam kickoff show for that last slot in the tournament. Your guy, Kevin Owens. I mean, I wouldn't call him my guy. Your guy is not going to know his opponent until the winner of that match, and neither will we. Don't blow yourself up, young man. You're apt to have a long night. Mr. Regal. Coming in early to help the ring crew, running the ropes while everyone else is still at the hotel, it makes an impression. Thanks. I do my best. Do you? What do you mean? Do you do your best? Apply yourself. You sound like my old math teacher. Well, you came to Raw more than a year ago now. And you've yet to make much of an impression. No titles, no great rivalries, a win-loss record with just enough victories to fly under the radar. Uh, great pep talk? Let me finish. I see your potential. The question is, if you're ready to fulfill it. I'm ready. Good, because as you know, there's a tournament for the WWE Universal Championship tonight. 
the final slot for Raw will be decided in a match on the kickoff show. One of the combatants will be Dominic Mysterio. That young man has a future, a legacy, a name. The other competitor is you. Thank you, sir. So much. I'll bring my best. Good man. See you do. You're the long shot of this whole night, my boy. You're the dark horse. Beat the odds. Oh, good. There you are. I'm Troy Simpkin. Associate, but soon to be full-fledged producer. Uh, Troy, we've met several times. You even borrowed my toothbrush once. <laughs> Ribbing you, bro! Anyway, just wanted to make sure you had the lay of the land. I mean, you're already booked tonight, but normally these situations are a good chance to check your social media, talk to other superstars, mess with your attire, all kinds of things. What else can I do? A whole bunch of different stuff. But the main point of interacting with your fellow superstars is to get into rivalries, which equals more TV time and success. But if you do start an issue with someone, you'll have to see it through. It's what we like to call story continuity. Did you come up with that? Well, it's a team effort around here. But if you have to know, yes, it was my idea. Really earning that promotion. Anyway, thanks for the tips, but I need to get focused for my match. Well, look who it is. If it isn't SummerSlam's Dark Horse. That nickname is sticking. Good times. Good times? Is Raw trying to steal SmackDown's WWE Universal title? Between us, what is Regal really up to? Um, giving me an opportunity to win the WWE Universal Championship? He put you in a qualifying match. You think that's some kind of vote of confidence? Come on, don't be naive. I'm not. What are you getting at? You know he has all his royal eggs in the Cody Rhodes basket. He's just trying to set the American Nepo baby up to win. I'll tell you what, the draft starts tomorrow. You beat Dominic, maybe I bring you over to SmackDown in the supplemental. We'll make a big announcement on social media. Oh, you'll post about me? For real? Why would you want me in the tournament instead of Dom anyway? Because I want the WWE Universal title on my show, where it belongs. And I am 100% sure KO will beat you. You have invoked the law of unintended consequences. See, you're thinking, maybe I throw this guy a bone. My guy Owens gets an easy first fight. But what you've done instead is inspire me. Is that right? See, I was looking to make it into the tournament and show the WWE Universe what I really got. But now? Now, I'm looking to go all the way just so I can take that championship away from you, you condescending reality show hack. You will never be champion, and you will never appear on SmackDown!
It's the so-called dark horse of the tournament. The following is a qualifying match for the Universal Championship Tournament. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 256 pounds. Let's not get ahead of ourselves calling this guy the dark horse of the tournament. He's not even officially in it yet. I have to agree with you, Corey. Winning the WWE Universal Championship Tournament will be difficult enough. But to have to win an extra qualifying match first makes it nearly impossible. The second generation superstar looking to carve his own path. It's Dominic Mysterio. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds. Dirty. Dominic Mysterio! Dominic looks ready to go, but I've heard some rumblings backstage that he's not too thrilled about being placed in this qualifying match. Coming in complaining is the quickest way to sabotage your own chances. Dom needs to put aside his grievances and concentrate on the task at hand. In a moment that can define a career, the road to glory begins right here. One of these men will walk out of this qualifying match with a ticket to the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. And we know who it's gonna be, Cole. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. He's a hard man who did hard time. Hard time? He spent one night in jail. Show a little respect to Dominic's opponent. You really think this guy has got the stuff to follow in Roman Reigns' footsteps, Saxton? He's been called the Dark Horse for a reason. is failing to offer any resistance here. Yeah, Dominic needs to find an opening. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Abdominal stretch. Looking to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. Oh, no, 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 no. A big splash. And Dominic's confidence being kept in check with that hit. Oh, there's some gouging going on. Oh, that's unnecessary. He's preparing for something. That's a no-good driver! Is it enough? He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. This isn't going to be pretty. Nice suplex. 
Uh, here we go. Beautiful swinging neck breaker. And into the count. He forces a break before the count of two. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Step up, Centon. Oh, come on. What is he thinking? You had him down where you wanted him. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Oh! Scoop slam. Leg drop across the throat. I don't know if Dominic can withstand much more of this. Dominic now is going to have to dig down deep. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Just endless shots. Where's the superstar getting this from? And over. Upper cuts. And once again, boom. This non-stop attack. Bang. Beautiful drop kick. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. One hundred and ten streak. Does he get him here? No, he gets the shoulder up. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. And Dominic could be moments away from doom. Dominic in his clutches. Can that finish Dominic? Cover! Man, that has got to feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Here is your winner, Wild Thing Anthony Wheeler. We now know who will fill that final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. What a win. Impressive, but somehow he's going to have to find a way to string together three more victories before the night's over. There he is. Great match with Dominic out there. Regal made the right call opening that last slot up. We're in the opposite bracket, but I'm kind of hoping you make it to the final. Real Cinderella story. Is that like some kind of reverse psychology mind game? Hell no. You make it to the final, I'm aiming to beat you just like I was going to beat Reigns. Of course you were going to beat Roman. Man, Cody, that must get under your skin. Reigns running away to Hollywood. No. The fact that whatever you do, however many titles you win, you're just the guy who stepped out of his dad's shadow and right into Roman's. Wow. Stiff. It's like that? It's like that. See you in the main event, Rhodes. KO, first round of the WWE Universal Title Tournament. Let's do this. Seriously? Are you literally the most desperate superstar on Raw? I'm just saying. Oh, KO, I'm so excited to fight you. What the hell have you ever done to even deserve being in the same room as the WWE Universal Championship? You want to know what I've done to get here? It was a rhetorical question. What you've done is take the opportunity to showcase your craft on the biggest stage in the world and flush it right down the toilet. You've been over on Raw for what, two years now? And most of the WWE Universe doesn't even know your name. All you are is some charity project for Regal. I'm nobody's project. Half right. You're definitely a nobody. See you out there. He's back again to compete in the championship tournament. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland, 
Weighing in at 256 pounds, Wild Thing Anthony Wheeler. No disrespect to Dominic Mysterio, but the competition levels up a bit here with Kevin Owens. Yeah, it's one thing to take on KO fresh, but after already competing tonight, good luck. It's almost time to see who advances and who goes home. We're in for a brawl with Kevin Owens tonight. With KO, it's a brawl every night. And his opponent from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. Well, he calls himself the prize fighter, and he's earned that moniker as of late. You're absolutely right, Saxon. You have to remember main event battles with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Roman Reigns. A look of pure focus on the face of the prize fighter. Because KO always has his eyes on the prize. There were not many people who expected KO's opponent to make it into the WWE Universal Championship Tournament, but here he is. What do you think is going through his mind right now? That jerking the curtain at SummerSlam is as close to the undisputed WWE Universal title as he's ever gonna get? KO's about to turn Cinderella back into a pumpkin. Pretty sure that's the carriage, Corey. The odds might favor Kevin Owens, but we've already seen this man has brought his A-game tonight. Discus punch! Man. Going down low, striking the front and back of the leg. And then a stop to the back. KO is getting knocked around a bit. Owens is under the gun. Oh, that can dislocate something. A little back trample there. And I'm, okay, I respect those moves. Beautiful swinging neck breaker. This match grinded him down a little. Pulled right back in. Side slam. Ooh. Oh, oh, sit out slam. Oh, knee right to the face. Oh, no. I see blood coming from Owen's head now. He clearly wants to dish out more punishment, but why not get the pinfall first? Trapping both of their opponent's arms and hoisted up. Look at this, he let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Dropping the bow. Time to go home. Closed fist punch to the jaw. That's one way to break up a move. Bang! What a move! Byron, this is what I wish you would do. Go home! All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Oh, uh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Owens into the ropes, but KO holds on. Kick to the gut. Stunner! Stunner! This one's over. Why the heck would he do that? I'll tell you why, Saxton. Kevin Owens is making a statement. 
This statement could cost Owens the WWE Universal Championship. KO needs to take the W. He's wasting time. It's not a waste of time. Everyone in this tournament is watching, and they see KO beating a guy so bad he can't stand up. Is he setting him up for another stunner? Wait, small package. One, two, three. He got him. KO had it won, but his arrogance got the better of him. I don't buy it, Saxton. Let me see a replay. KO's taking it out of the referee. And another stunner for Owens. He might have won the match, but did this guy ever lose the war? Just a total meltdown from KO here tonight. And as a result of KO's meltdown, I'm not even sure his opponent's going to make it to his next match. I'm about to go live with a hit for the bump, and you are the guy everyone is talking about tonight. You got a quick sec? You got a bag of ice? Um, no. That is a bummer. But chatting with you is not. What do you want to know? You really came out of nowhere tonight with a couple of big wins that have you in the hunt for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. But I have to ask, is your performance tonight a fluke? I'm sorry? A fluke? I don't mean any offense, it's just... Your record hasn't exactly been at the WWE Universal Championship level since you got here. The only fluke is that I've been out here busting my butt for two years and it's taken them this long to give me the opportunity. What the WWE Universe is seeing is not a fluke. It's a guy telling each and every one of them, and you, it's about damn time. You did just take two stunners and win with a small package. That's not a fluke, Kayla. I call it strategy. I beat KO by outthinking KO. That sounds pretty egotistical coming from a guy who's about to face Braun Strowman in the semi-final match. The monster among men is going to do exactly what you and the rest of the WWE Universe are doing. Underestimating me. And that's why I'm fixing to win it all. Give him that on the bump. Somehow he keeps surviving. It's the Dark Horse. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland. Weighing in at 256 pounds. Wild Thing Anthony Wheeler. He's already strung together two victories tonight. Why not make it three? Why not? Because he's facing Braun Strowman. I don't think I need to say anything else. If this is it for the Dark Horse, he's had a good run. Here comes the monster of all monsters. And his opponent from Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds. Braun Strowman. Think of all the titles that Braun Strowman has won throughout his career. 
tag titles, intercontinental title, even the Universal Championship. More interested in causing destruction and running over the competition. Witness some impressive feats of strength over the years. Well, the good news is the next one could be mere moments away. Guys, you are really beginning to see the wear and tear on the dark horse of the tournament. And despite the result, KO beat the hell out of him. And now he's walking into a fight with a genuine monster in Braun Strowman. The guy that'll turn around, take the count out loss, and call it a night. Not happening, Corey. We saw it with Dominic Mysterio on the kickoff show, and we saw it with Kevin Owens in our opening match tonight. This man will not quit. A little insult to your injury. He must have had that scouted. My jumpy DDT. My. Ooh. That aggression of Strowman being met in kind. Blocked it. The knees up could provide a huge turnaround. And he retaliates on Strowman. Ooh. Ooh. My goodness. Rolling elbow. Step in. Devastating elbow. A rare manhandling of Strowman here. Now you don't often have your way with Braun like this. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Dropping the bow. No, no, no. Suicide dive. Whatever it takes to win. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Oh. Nice takedown. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Springboard! Back in the ring now. The crowd is fired up. Braun Strowman is fired up. Incredible how they were able to get all the lift needed to debilitate the larger opponent. Oh! A continuous attack on Strowman. Raw is being completely neutralized. Heading up, he's thinking big. Soaring. A diving five knuckle shuffle. And shoulders are down. And he easily stops the ref's count. This isn't even close to over. Ooh, kick lands. Oh, look at this! Kicks out on a pinfall attempt. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. <laughs> Strong knee connects. Braun telegraphing that one. Neck breaker! So smooth. Not sure how much more Strowman can take. He can really stand to get back as good as he's getting right about now. Monsters don't impart much fear when they're in this position. Strike after strike after strike to the body. Oh, man. Serious jeopardy for Strowman. Cover! Oh, kicks out, kicks out. The monster among men roaring back at the last second. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Kick to the stomach. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, Ooh. a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? And there's Strowman finding ways to keep wreaking havoc. A broad Strowman just powering his opponent over the power slam. Will it pay off for Braun Strowman? That's got to be it. And he's saved by the ropes. Oh, right into the shoulder. That's got to hurt. Strowman, just such a monstrous sight to behold. 
This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. He just barely dodges. Time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. No! Strongest plan for the win! And he only stays down for a one count. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. Gets clobber with the axe handle. Uh-oh! A slingshot cross body! Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. He's heading back to the ring. To the sky. Sent on from the apron. Braun has been cut down. He's pushed to the break. Strike after strike after strike to the body. Oh! The opening is there for the taking. Somehow, he has survived three matches and will advance to compete in the tournament finals against none other than Cody Rhodes. Just advancing as far as a huge accomplishment, but I'm sure the Dark Horse isn't satisfied yet. This is a setup, Regal. I take over as the general manager of SmackDown, and all of a sudden there's a tournament for my show's title with a bunch of Raw guys, and now two of them made it to the finals? Ms. Annen, surely you cannot believe that I somehow conspired with Roman Reigns to abdicate his title. Perhaps he simply didn't want to work with you. That is ridiculous. Roman loves me, and that's not the point. You and Triple H and all your little buddies skulking around to anoint Cody Rhodes, you set this up for Cody to face this guy. Hello again, Miz. I thought about your offer to come to SmackDown if I did okay against Dom and then lost to KO. I decided to beat him instead. Oh, and Braun too. Looks like I made the right choice including you in this tournament. Oh, look at the Mutual Admiration Society. Can you really not see what's going on here, kid? A qualifying match? Owens? Strowman? You're getting the hell kicked out of you so Regal can put his boy Cody on the throne. He is using you. Yeah, he is using me. To main event SummerSlam, Miz. I'm cool with it. Whatever. I'm done with both of you. You cannot get away with stealing the WWE Universal Championship from SmackDown, Regal. I believe I just have. Against all odds, he's here to compete in the tournament finals. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 256 pounds. Wild thing, Anthony. It's been an impressive one night showing so far, but why stop here? He wants to finish the story against the man who coined the phrase, Cody Rhodes. 
Easier said than done, Saxton. Cody's had a shorter and smoother ride to the finals. This is going to be a one-sided fight. the man who can achieve his dreams by being a nightmare to his opponent. Looks like he's really embracing the significance of this pivotal moment, soaking in and cherishing each passing second. I'm sure he is. He's not just walking to the ring, he's taking the final steps of a very long journey to get here. Hold on to your sunglasses and beach towels. It's time for a SummerSlam Stravaganza. Serious faces on our competitors. This big moment is not lost on them. There it is, the ultimate prize, the Universal Championship. A title worth putting it all on the line for. Many believe that Cody Rhodes was a lock to win the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The dark horse of the tournament is the last man standing in his path. You know, things would be different if Roman Reigns hadn't walked away, but it sure does look like the WWE Universal title is in Rhodes' grasp. After all you've seen tonight, you're still counting this man out? There are only so many banana peels his opponents can slip up on, Saxton. Rhodes doesn't make mistakes. Kick right to the body. Here's the pin. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. He's looking a little weary now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Lifts them up, then drops them down. Into a DDT! Ooh! Chicken wing applied with the half Nelson. Half Nelson chicken wing into a face buster. Rose tied that one. Brought down with the bulldog. Rhodes is feeding off the WWE Universe. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. And it's a long way down from there. Ooh. Superstars perched up high. Not from a third. You really have to throw caution to the wind to even consider hitting something like that. I think we know what's coming next. From the top. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. And now thrown back into the ring. Right, 
You have to wonder if Cody Rhodes came into this tournament's final match overconfident. I don't think so, Corey. Cody's a veteran. At this point in his career, he's learned not to underestimate any of his opponents. Reversal. And the ref gets taken out. There it is. Cody hit the crossroads. No, the story should be complete. That referee was right in the line of fire, Saxton. Cody sees it. Now checking on the official. You can see the frustration on his face. We got to get another referee down here. Spear for Roman Reigns. What the hell is Roman doing here? Cody is hurt, guys, and the official has no idea. I can't believe this. Roman was supposed to be off in Hollywood, but I guess he took a detour. Oh, no. What is Roman thinking? Reigns can't do this. No! Roman Reigns guaranteed that Cody Rhodes would not win the WWE Universal Championship, and the head of the table keeps his promises. No! Not like this! No! Yes, Cole! Yes! It's over! It's over! This is incredible! Roman is the kingmaker! This is criminal! Criminally genius! Look at the smile on Roman's face! I can't believe how we got here. We have a new, undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Undisputed? This guy doesn't even know where he is. Roman's actions here tonight will reverberate throughout the WWE Universe for a very long time. What a SummerSlam, and what a turn of events. Cody, man, I was going to give you a call, but figured we should talk in person. I don't blame you. I know you and Reigns weren't in on it together. He was trying to hurt me, not help you. I appreciate that. At the same time, we both know I had you beat when Reigns attacked me from behind. Is that what we know? One, two, three, four, five. And that's when I got up to check on the ref. I don't need to recap. I was there, and I have the championship to prove it. You took the crossroads, it was over. Look, you hung tough, your time will come, but last night, you were done. Maybe so, but that was last night. Tonight's a different story. How so? We'd never fought before. Tonight, I know you. That works both ways. No, I mean, I know you. That little panicked freeze you get every time you're under pressure, that worry you're not measuring up to your legacy, that you'll never finish the story. Man, you're not fighting me, you're fighting you. Wow, turns out it's gonna feel pretty good making you a one night champion with an asterisk by his name. Can you win a title somebody doesn't hand you, Cody? See you out there. It is an absolute crime the position that Roman Reigns has put you in. The cloud now hanging over your reign as WWE Universal Champion belies your effort. I know you fought like hell to win the title. You're damn right I did. I had to compete in an extra match too, and I still made it to the finals, and won. A fine achievement that the WWE Universe nonetheless looks askance at. Unfortunately, Reigns beat Cody as much as you did. Perhaps more. Seriously? What does it even matter how it happened? I walked away with the title, yet he's the one you want to be champion? Hogwash. I want the best man to win, and that is all. Really? No little push for your buddy's kid to go to the top? That accusation is beneath your dignity. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
It's a very busy night with the draft starting. Good luck. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes looking to continue his dominance in WWE. Competing at his highest level, striving for the main event and the biggest prize. Cody Rhodes has been on a mission as of late to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. It's the brand new, undisputed, WWE Universal Champion. Do we have to call this guy undisputed? After Roman Reigns handed him the title at SummerSlam, he's very much disputed. The finals were full of controversy, but the champion did win the tournament and has another opportunity to prove himself tonight. Can the Dark Horse take down the American Nightmare one more time? Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! And his opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 256 pounds, he is the I have a feeling we're about to see a classic, gentlemen. 
You can see the desire in these competitors' eyes reflected right back at them in the shine of that championship's gold. With Roman Reigns back in Hollywood, we can finally settle the WWE Universal Championship controversy once and for all. That's right, by getting the title to the right guy. If this is anything like the tournament finals, Cody Rhodes is going to make quick work of the so-called champion. I'll admit that the champ is the underdog in this match, but after his night at SummerSlam, I am done underestimating him. Springboard off. Hoist it up. All the way out. Suplex. That's mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Oh, impact to the stomach. The champ getting put to the test here. Cody taking no opportunity for granted. All oh, the momentum has swung to Cody Rhodes. Cody's getting that unstoppable look in his eyes. Was ready for that. There's the bulldog. Look at this, just cranking the head. That's gotta hurt. Just cranking the head. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Using the ropes, going for a pin for the championship. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? He's not even close to being done yet. Able to give him the slip. Rhodes and the Dark Horse jockeying for position here. Stop! Stop the damn match! What is Miz doing out here? I said, stop this unsanctioned match. That's right, unsanctioned. I'm so sorry to ruin his lordship's plan, but Raw's Royal General Manager, William Regal, seems to have forgotten something. What is Miz talking about? Unsanctioned? Regal forgot that I had the first pick in the draft. So this conspiracy to steal the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for Raw ends tonight. He's not going to do this in the middle of his huge match, is he? The WWE Universal Champion has been drafted to SmackDown. Effective immediately. Miz can't do this. He just did, Saxton, and it's brilliant. Come on, get out of the ring and grab your bags. It's time to go to your new home. Cheer up, Rhodes. I'm sure Regal will give you another chance at the World Heavyweight Championship. Regal doesn't look happy. Speak of the devil. Have a look, Regal. All the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed. That's what I thought. Now tell my WWE Universal Champion to get out of that ring and pack his bags. I'm afraid Mr. Mazanin is correct. This rematch is canceled. And the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is bound for SmackDown. A huge change in the geography of WWE has just taken place in the middle of this championship match. Good luck countering that move in the draft, Regal. Miz just told the whole Raw audience, you want excitement, you come to SmackDown. While a huge question mark continues to hang over the Dark Horse champion. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion has arrived at SmackDown. Without Regal and Reigns, this guy would be working at the concession stand. That's more than an exaggeration, Corey. He put on a show at SummerSlam, and I, for one, think SmackDown got a steal in the draft. Yeah, we'll see.